Welcome back, fellow creators, to another captivating episode of our Unreal Engine Niagara series. Today we embark on a whimsical journey where we harness the power of particles to bring to life the delicate charm of floating dandelions. Prepare to be amazed as we delve into the enchanting world of visual effects and explore the intricacies of Niagara's capabilities. Whether you are an aspiring game developer, a VFX enthusiast, or simply someone with a keen eye for mesmerizing visuals, this episode will ignite your imagination and take your creation to new heights. So let's dive in and unravel the secrets behind these eternal dancing dandelions together. Alright, the first step that I'm gonna take is to create a dandelion material and assign it to these particles of Niagara system. So let's create a new folder and let's name it as, for example, material would be okay. And let's open it and I'm going to create a new material, for example, M underline dandelion number two, because I've already created a dandelion material. And the first thing to do in the material editor is to change the blend mode to additive. And keep in mind that we are going to create materials in additive and translucent mode for Niagara system. And since I don't need to render any dark color in this material, I'm going to use the additive mode. And after that, let's change the shading model to only it because we don't want to cast any light or shadows from this material. And make sure to check this two-sided option over here. And it is time to import our texture. And let me just find the folder that I've imported the texture. It's not here. I think I've imported them here. Yeah, they're right here. And let's drag it to the materials editor window. And you can simply download the textures from this realistic starter VFX pack from Unreal Engine's marketplace. It's free to use, just simply add them to your project. So let's continue. And I'm going to add a multiply node by holding the M button and click on a blank space and also a scalar node. Let's connect the RGB and the scalar to this multiply and let's connect the multiply node to the emissive color and furthermore i'm going to use the same multiply node and again a scalar node let me just create them and this is the scalar and i'm going to connect the alpha node of the textures and also the scalar to the multiply and both of them to the opacity Let's change the value of the RGB and also the opacity to five and one. I think it would be better to increase the value of the emissive color. Something like 15 would be okay. And this was just a simple and brief way to show our dandelion on the Niagara's particle system. It was just a simple material. So let me just delete this Niagara system that I've already have in the project. And I'm going to create a new Niagara system. And after that, I am gonna use one of the templates called hanging particles. So let's add it to our project. And for example, NS for Niagara system underline dandelion would be okay. And let's double click and here we have the Niagara stages. So the first thing to do is to change the material. This is the default material of the Niagara system particles. And I'm going to search for the material that I've created. It's right here, M underline dandelion number two. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is to change the target processor from CPU to GPU to be able to compute more numbers of particles as we did in the previous session and i've just explained the reason in the previous session and we're just okay in this module let's go further and here we have the spawn rate module to describe the number of particles that we want to have so i'm going to change its mode to float dynamic range and let's set the minimum to something like maybe 50 and the maximum to 80 in addition, I'm going to set these two factors to new user parameters. So I would be able to control them from the details panel of the Niagara system. 
in the Unreal Engine's editor. So let's go further. And the next module that we got here is this initialized particle. So let's control the size of the dandelions. And I think it would be better to control them also from the details panel of Niagara system. So let's set them as the user new parameter and let's go further. Everything seems fine in shape location module. And here we have this wind module, which indicates its name. It simulates a wind effect. Let's change the mode of the speed of this wind effect to random range flow to have a variety in the speed factor. And the values of three to six or seven would be okay. And after that, let's set the turbulence scale to something like four or five would be okay. And after that, we have the aerodynamic drag, which is a kind of drag force that we had in the previous session. And then we got this scale sprite size, which seems okay. And finally, we got this scale color, which I'm going to change its curve and use uh, templates of the Niagara system and let's compile it. And then now it is time to drag our Niagara system to the project. Let me just press the G button. And as you might have noticed, we need to make some changes in terms of size and number of the particles. So we have these user parameters that we defined in the Niagara system in the spawn rate module and also in the initialized particle module. So let's change the size from four to seven would be okay. And let's see the results. Yes, seems fine. And also I'm going to increase the number of particles from these spawn rate module parameters that I have defined here. Let's try 80 to 100 and see the results. And as we come to the end of yet another extraordinary episode, I hope you have been inspired by the magic we've unlocked with Unreal Engine Niagara. Remember my fellow creators, the power to bring your imagination to life lies within your hands. With each particle effect, each stroke of creativity, you have the ability to captivate and transport your audience to new realms. Embrace their endless possibilities that Unreal Engine offers and let your visions soar. This is just the beginning of our Niagara journey and I promise you, there are countless more wonders waiting to be explored. Thank you for joining me today and until next time, keep dreaming and keep creating.